Hello everyone, I'm going to be teaching you about wild and edible plants. This is the wild wine berry. This little green stem sticking up is the seed ball. This is the unopened fruit where it's going to open but not quite. This is the unripe fruit, it's a different color than the other ones. This is the receptacle where it's closing. Where it like where it fell off and it and that's what's left of it. This is the ripe fruit. It's bright red. This is the bristly stem. See all the little like hairs on it. That's what makes it bristly. On all those little stems around here, they're all bristly. Like they're all like thorns and stuff. Okay, this is a three padded leaf. Now you think that these are three leaves? But no, uh, but it's coming from the same stem, notice that, and they're coming all out from it. This whole thing is one leaf, but this is a three-parted leaf because there's three leaves in one, but they're actually not leaves. And this is the underside of the leaf. And this is a painting. All these all these are drawings or paintings by Wildman Steve Brill and I am Violet Brill. This is an edible plant called the wild raisin. And this here is the leaf bud. There's a bud right there. There are some buds over there. The leaves come out of the buds. The, the leaves are toothed. If you look down here, you could see, well, if you look like right here, you could see that a little bit. Well, it's, a little, it's toothed, so you see that now. These are the berries. The berries are in a cluster. That means they're all together, like they're coming out of like one part of the one part of the stem. This is the twig of it. One part of it. One part of the twig are in like a little cluster. Like you won't find them scattered around the tree. You'll find them in clusters. And that's a cluster. Now the berries, well well the raisins I mean, have the pointed tip at the end. Right here, you can see that pointed tips. Now down here, this is a cluster of flowers. The same thing. You won't find the cut, like the full the cluster of flowers on the tree. Like you won't find that scattered around all the flowers. You'd find them in clusters in a group with the twigs. And this still has a twig, the over toothed leaf. And when I showed you the teeth on the leaf, like the little little points on the leaf. It's the same thing here. It's the same plant. And this is a white, it has a, it's a white flower in a cluster and it has five, it's a five petaled flower. This is an edible plant. The wild raisin. And that, and it's the wild raisin. Remember, these are the berry. They're all in clusters, and those are berries. Well, the raisins. You could confuse that. It looks like berries sometimes. Well, actually, are berries, but but they also are raisins and the flowers. This is shepherd's purse. The name sound kind of looks like it looks like it says sheephead's purse, but it's actually shepherd's purse. Now. Some people confuse this with dandelion because look, here are the teeth right there. Like all these little things sticking out are the teeth. Now, with the dandelion, with the dandelion, the teeth point down. But with shepherd's purse, the teeth point up. Like if you look over here, it's pointing upwards. Like it's like it's slanted up 
But with it, with the Dan one, the T first landed down, not up like this. And this is the basal leaf, the basal leaf. It's at the bottom of the plant, and this is my favorite stage because you see the flowers, they're in clusters. I love the flowers. They taste like broccoli, kind of, and they're, but they're really, really good. And now, this is the seed pod. Like, they kind of, like, look like little hearts here. It's the seed pod. And if you look on the, on the next to the flower, too, you can also see that there are little seed pods there. Now, the seed pods are scattered around. Remember how I was saying, like, the flowers are in a cluster? Like, these flowers are in a cluster, too. And they are not scattered around like here, here, and here, like where these are. If these were in a cluster, they would be like this. But they're not. They're scattered all around the plant. Now, these, the seed pods, are not opposite. And opposite means that they're like directly like with each other, like... Like, one's here, then one's there. Like, it's right next to how it's pointing out. Like, one's here, and then this one would be right there. But it's not like that. It's called... Alternate. It's called alternate. When they're not opposite from each other. And this is Shepherd's Purse. An edible plant. This is the marshmallow. These are the flower buds. Or the flower's gonna open, and they're not opened yet. This, these are the, well right here, is the, is the leaf bud. But the leaf's gonna come out next year. These are the flowers. It's five petals. One, two, three, four, five. You see that? This, the, the, the tooth, the, well, the leaf is toothed. There's teeth on the leaf. That even runs teeth on the leaf. And this is the marshmallow. This is a pencil drawing. It's, you now the leaves are edible. It's pretty good. And this is the marshmallow. This is the common dandelion. This is the part is the time when it pollinates seeds. This is wind pollinated. Now these parts, these these little parts right there are the seeds. And those are all around here. Wind pollinated means that when the that when the wind blows it blows all the seeds around and that's how it grows new ones. This is the dandelion leaf. The See these teeth? They point downward. This is the dandelion flower. You can eat the dandelion leaves and flower. The da when they get really, but the dandelion leaves is when they're small. You could eat them because when they get really big, they're really bitter. They can grow like from from here down to here. Now you can eat the flower, but only the yellow part. The green part you cannot eat. You have to take off the yellow part. And this is the dandelion root. This is the tap root. And this is the dandelion. There we go, dandelion. It's the common dandelion. This is Japanese knotweed. This is the very young shoot when it's just starting to come up. You see down there, it can it looks a little red. It's really good then. This is the this is the adult shoot. This whole thing and it's the whole young shoot. Now, this is the jointed stem. It's called Japanese knotweed because you see how like it looks like the little knots there. Like when you go up the stem, like those little pieces, they look like knots. So this is the jointed stem, how it joints. This part here is the is the sheath. Here's the leaf that comes out of it. Now, it has oval wedge-shaped young 
leaf. So this is an oval wedge-shaped young leaf right here. And this is Japanese knotweed. This is the red mulberry. Now, it has lot toothed oval leaves. So, here's the Here's the lob leaf. It's a well lob toothed oval leaf. It's oval shaped. It has little teeth on the edges. Well, tiny ones. You can't really see them, but there's some. Um, this is the fruits. All these berries are the fruits. And this is the red mulberry. So here's the mulberry, the leaves, the, and yeah, this is the red mulberry. This is the butternut. It has, this is the leaflet. This is the bud down here. The midrib. And it's a feather compound leaf. Compound means it's like right next to each other, kind of like opposite leaves. And this is the nut of the butternut. The feather, so how it's a feather compound leaf is it's like, it, the feather, it's like, it's kind of shaped like a feather a little bit. and feels like a feather. And so this is the butternut. This is the full grown butternut tree. And there's the butternut leaves. This is the common evening primrose. It, this is the taproot. This is the midrib. And the leaf is oval shaped. And it has teeth on it. And this is the common evening primrose. This is burdock. This is the long leaf stalk. It's a long in a leaf stalk, and this is the basal rosette of it. The basal rosette, that's this part, how everything's sticking out. The midrib of the leaf, that's this. The board leaf is this. And this is the taproot down here. And this is burdock in the basal rosette form. That means it's just coming out of the ground. Like if this root wasn't here, it'd be just like that. So that's burdock. This is the common hue English U. It's spelled Y-E-W, not just U. Now these are flattened needles. They're very flat. As you see, now these, and now look at these. Well, this is edible, but this is a big, this is a warning, a really big warning. Now, the, the berries you can eat, but in the berries, there are seeds. You have to spit out the seeds. You cannot eat the seeds. The seeds are poisonous. You can only eat the berry part. And you could see kind of a little bit of the seed sticking out of the top of that, like sticking out right there, right there. Like that little brown spot, that's the seed inside. And this is the common U English U. You could also call it the U berry or the U or the common U berry or the common U. Oh, common U English U. This is the common blackberry. It's, these leaves are toothed palmate compound leaves. See the teeth on them? Teeth, spiky teeth. Now these are the compound fruits, the berries. You can eat the berries, blackberries, everyone knows that, you can eat them. This is the stem. It's stem right here. Now, this is the five-petaled flower, see? 
It's a white flower. One, two, three, four, five. It five, has five petals. And this is the common blackberry. This is the garden red currant. The leaf is, lo is a lot tooth leaf. And this is the fruit. The fruit stalk. And the lobe. This is the lobe spot here. And this is the garden red currant. This is the quince. It is stalkless stipules. It has the stalkless fruit. <clears throat> the five petaled blossom. And the alternate tooth leaves. And that's the quince. This is the daylily. That's the shoot, the tumbers, the roots, and that's the daylily. This is purslane. It has paddle-shaped stalkless leaves. It has succulent stem. It has yellow five-petaled flower right there. And this is purslane. Hello, everyone. I'm Violet Bro. And all these paintings were by, and drawings were by Wildman Steve Brill. You can learn more about this at wildmansteveBrill.com. See you in the fields.